Sylvia, so this is, I believe, our last interpretation of knowledge. And yes. Hi, good, good afternoon. Uh, first, I have to say that the topic I bring, uh, it's being developed in collaboration with my colleagues Natalia Boutica uh, and Manuel Martins from the University of Minho and uh, Rebecca Lancrotea from the University of Santiago de Compostela. I'm here to talk about uh, a little bit about mapping the bibliography of Citania de Fins at the hill fort, uh, Iron Age hill fort in the north of Portugal and I bring you a new methodological approach uh, for a historiographical model. So, every research process begins with a search of data concerning the subject of study. And uh, the, this is trans transversal to all and any research. So, in <coughs> this research, we face ourselves with several issues as dispersed information, non-accessible documentation, links for web references that no longer exist, exists or aren't traceable because of the absence of the associated metadata, which makes this, in reality, these documents are non-existent in most of the researches. And also, a lot of the documents found are just of restric restricted reading and aren't don downloadable. So, in order to organize and manage the bibliography associated with the study of the Silfort, Titanis and Finch, we created a documentation management system associating metadata and prev previously re georeferenced sites. So, our system allows a spatial distribution uh, of registered bibliography in what is a user friendly way to access this data and to define the search criteria as such, for instance, site, cultural period, type of study, cultural material, uh, col sorry, cultural material, and so on. So, we consider that we, if we disseminate data, we can facilitate its reuse and shorten the initial process of gathering information for any research. Uh, in our research, with this methodology, we were able to have a general view of the available data and focus on the information that's lacking. It also uh, promotes a collaborative network in a way that this system can grow uh, with the incorporation of new data resulting of new research work. So, um, despite the investment of many institutions in digitizing documents and data, Bibliography and historic documents are very dispersed and in various formats. Contents not very well typed, not searchable, uh, search uh, forms not user friendly uh, to handle with large amounts of information. So we mainly consider fundamental, fundamental that the dissemination of digital uh, data allows the reuse and new possibilities of analysis. And I had, yes, a map with it's uh, an example of what we can do by, by associating these uh, bibliographic data or even images um, to georeferenced sites. Um, and we can see, for instance, uh, how many site studies are for the area that we want to study, uh, how many material cultural studies are, and we did this to like uh, site preservation, how many sites were excavated, um, how's the, the conservation state of it. So we were hoping, we are hoping that this project can grow and we can work in a crowdsourcing way so the, the information can be available and um, we can have more lines of work uh, and study uh, of the sites and so that's it. Thank you.